Greetings and salutations and welcome to another Autodesk Inventor video. In today's video we are returning to Cadmus and making a gold ring. Why a gold ring? Well because I made a mistake. Episode 5 should have been a gold ring but I completely forgot about it as it got buried under all of my projects in the home and so it got completely left in the dark. So instead we're going to revisit it, where is it, gold ring, and we're going to make one because on the 5th day of Christmas my troop sent to me five gold rings according to the song so let's get to it so we're going to home grab a pass up and we'll start a new sketch grab a start sketch and we're going to make a line we're going to make a line five five mils high and we're going to make another line far out that's parallel to it five high we're then going to dimension them to be seven and a half. But really that's gonna be any ring dimension, you can customize it to whatever you need to be. And we're gonna set this other line just to be a midline, so it comes to the revolve, be like, oh you've got a midline and a close profile. Let me automatically do it for you. And I'm like, yes, thank you, inventor, for doing all the hard work for me. And we're just gonna grab an arc and that looks about right I'm not looking for anything super precise here this is going on what I think looks good drop a dimension just finish off the auto dimension up look I hate that one and finish sketch and you can just click the revolve magic automatically does it no thought required and that's the ring simple as but if you noticed back on the gold ring it had a nice little snowflakey wintry pattern just to make it a little bit more because it'd be 1 minute 57 on the recording so far but no there's no point you could probably do this and figure it out yourself you might figure it out yourself if you have enough but this is for beginners so if you want a bit of a guide follow along otherwise you've got yourself a very nice ring here to scale it up as much as you like right so we're gonna go on we need to define ourselves a new plane so we're gonna go on to the left and we'll grab the XY plane grab a new plane and we're just going to grab it out just before there we go click ok and we're going to start a new sketch there then we're going to make a line up to here along the middle and this um, could take a construction line off because it's going to haunt me for a while and that's going to be a construction line and we're going to drop a point it's flat bang on the middle of it perfect click ok and we're going to drop a line 1.5 mils and we're going to drop another line 0.75 we're then going to use the coincident to make that edge join up there and we are then going to use the angle dimension to make that 15 and there we go and we can then just mirror the part by those two edges and the middle mirror line click apply <coughs> job done and you can then just click the circular command by selecting that geometry click select the middle dots setting it to nine click ok click finish sketch it's a really quick and dirty finish sketch and then we can just extrude and we're just going to select all of them all the individual petals we're going to turn it into a cut and we're going to go to this internal face and it'll magically only cut in precisely to it click ok and we can just change this to turn this work plane off and last but not least we then just put a little fillet on just the points here so we can just select the tops here and then we just need to select the internal fate internal tops now it's not going to be happy with me at the moment because this is way too high the material I'm cutting I only made this five five mils high so it's gonna be way too high we're gonna reduce it down at substantially to 
and where it does the corrections. Click OK. And there's, there's the round pill done. The last part is now then just to do a circular. And so we're just going to grab the features, we're just going to select the extrusion and the fillet. The rotation axis is Y. And we're just going to turn it up to 9 and click OK. And there you go, the last but not least thing to do is set it to gold or any kind of material you want. Gold depends, varies. I think what I have it set on gold, um, gold ring. I had it set to gold, I had it set to metal 2400. So you can lit. There you go. Depending on how, what kind of type of gold, what kind of colour you want, whether you want rose gold as well. There's tons of trees, don't have to be made out of gold, it can be made out of steel or titanium. But enough of me rambling on. Thank you for listening. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.